This is Aim for Survival. Today we're talking about tarp shelters. Stay tuned. Now first we'll go over the pros and cons of tarps. Tarp is lightweight, multifunctional, can be used as a poncho, it can be used as a water collection device, can be used for signaling. For this demonstration we will use just the Terra Nova tarp. Uh, first glance with this tarp you'll notice we have a slightly shinier side on the bottom portion. It is a sill nylon impregnated tarp. It will bead and repel water. It is a rip resistant, rip stop nylon. Has brass grommet holes with nylon tie outs, which are double stitched and reinforced. As with any shelter, you wanna find a place with level ground. Step one, lay out the tarp. Step two, secure. A bungee cord. You just tie mine into a square knot, attaching to these two points. Step three, attach the bungee cord to the corner of the tarp. I prefer to use the tie out, not the grommet. I find these bungee cords help absorb some of the shock. Of course, you will want it tighter in the rain conditions. Step four, take your first stake. And at the furthest corner or the opposite corner from your bungee tie out go ahead and peg that one in as far from your tree as you can step five taking the back corner we've secured it in place with our second stake if we were to keep a fire close to us we would want to flap the excess material over the back of the tarp now your lightweight tarps your seal nylon tarps will not be fire resistant any flame, any spark that touches them will melt them instantly. I use, abuse, and reuse my equipment. I do repair it, so I do carry Gorilla Tape with me in case I do get those small little holes from the flying sparks. This can be brought back down low to shield us from wind. It will now be covered from two sides. Wind will change in direction. I love this shelter configuration because you can easily lift up that last corner the other two stakes walk it around and place it against the current wind direction by simply adjusting our tarp shelter to the middle stake position we will leave a smaller footprint and allow our fire to become much closer to ourselves if you want your fire closer i definitely recommend you upgrade to a canvas tarp or an oil skin tarp You'll notice I have put a cheap $1 tarp down as a ground cloth. This is a five foot by four foot ground tarp. Gives you just an idea of just how much space there is underneath our shelter. As you see here, we steepened the incline, narrowed the footprint. If we only had our tarp, as you see here, we have made use of the excess material to make a ground cloth. In the summer, when you need a cooling breeze, this is a good way to capture it. You would not want this in driving rain 
sun's going down, so we better get a move on. Stay tuned.